So on this video, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find some partial derivatives. We're going to use some formulas. So before we use the formulas, it's really important that we have 0 on one side of the equation. So we'll start by subtracting 3. So I'm going to rewrite this and subtract the 3 to x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 3yw plus 4w squared and then minus 3 and that's equal to 0. So in the formulas that follow, all of this right here, that's going to be big F of x, y, z, w. So it's a function of four variables. Pretty ridiculous. Let's go ahead and find maybe del w, say del x. Let's find that one first. The formula for this, it's the partial of big F with respect to x over the partial of big F with respect to w, and you have a minus sign. So a really easy trick is just crisscrossing x, x, w, w, x, x, w, w. That seems to work pretty well as a memory trick. All right, now we just got to take these partial derivatives. So we have the minus here. The partial of big F with respect to x, we're going to hold everything constant except x. So that derivative is 0 because it's a constant. That's 0, that's 0, that's 0, that's 0. So all we have is 2x. For the partial with respect to w, um, x, y, and z are all constant now. So that will be 0, that will be 0, that will be 0. Ooh, w is not constant. So we have a number times w, right? So we take the derivative, uh, the derivative of w is 1. So we just get negative 3y. And then here, the derivative of 4w squared, use the power rule, right? So 2 times 4 is 8, so you get plus 8w. And that's it. That's the, that's the partial of w uh, with respect to um, x. Um, let me do one more. Let me do one more. Let's, let's do um, del w uh, del z. So in this case, we have the minus, and if you use the trick we talked about before, um, you just crisscross them. So fz, and then here you have fw, right? Just crisscross them, crisscross them. Always works. Super cool. Uh, so partial with respect to z, let's see, so that all of these guys are going to be 0, right? Because everything except the z is constant. So that's 0, that's 0, that's 0, that's 0, that's 0. So this derivative here is 2z. So it's minus, and then 2z. And then now we take the partial with respect to w, so everything except the w is constant. So 0, 0, 0, oh, boom. So negative 3y, just like before, right? Because it's a number of times the w, so derivative of w is 1, so that hangs out. And then 8w again here on the bottom, so plus 8w. And so that would be the partial of w with respect to z. Likewise, you can find uh, the other ones. I hope that made some sense.